Hi everyone, I'm back. Don't mind my hair. I'm giving you very Diana Ross, very Shaka Khan realness, you know? The girls know, the girls know. But no, I just took it out of a bun, so it looks crazy, but it don't even matter because we're about to get into the second part of our experiment. Now, just to give a recap, I am mixing two sprays together, the Ibn Lace Bond and the Wig Dealer Lace Melting Spray together. The first experiment was me going to a day party on a really hot day where I was twerking it and working it. So today is part two of our scientific experiment about lace melting sprays and seeing which ones work. In the third and final phase, I'm gonna go outside and work out in the blistering, raisin in the sun heat. Until you do right by me, everything you think about is gonna crumble. And see. And then we'll see how well that holds up. Is it worth buying and investing in? Let's start the experiment. So in some areas, it's definitely still kind of tight, but as you can see, it is lifting a little bit. But here's the thing, nobody's gonna know. Like it's still laid down flat. It's not jerking and twerking everywhere. Not the best either, but it's manageable. Like if you got caught in the rain or something like that, you'll be all right, you'll be all right. Should you go swimming, like full? Oh, Michael Phelps having this job? Mm, probably not. I'm not gonna be like, oh, it don't move, it don't move, cause it does move. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'll give it like a, I wouldn't be promoting it as a waterproof, like you just end all be all, absolutely not. Honest, but you know, okay, let's go. Let me get my clothes on. So, after doing phase two, my final reviews on this is, hmm, I wouldn't be the first person to like jump in the pool. Like I'm not gonna be the first to get in, it's not gonna happen. But maybe like the last five minutes, I take a little dip so everybody can see what my hair like when it's all, um, all wet and wavy. <laughs> so yeah, I would do that, that's fine. Um, like I said, I did not feel like my wig was ever gonna fall off. I had that sense of security, which is good, and I actually really like that. And the recovery time, y'all, I only let this air dry for a little bit, um, and it snapped right the back. Look at that, like we never left. But what I will say is I played myself because if I would've known the snapback was gonna be like that, I would've made sure I pushed it back up where it was because it did slide back once it got wet, which, you know, it is what it is. So next time I know if it ever get wet, make sure when I'm done and it's drying to push that joint back in formation. So we're good to go. But yeah, I'm not too mad at it at all. I wasn't expecting it to have the Gorilla Goo effect. No, not at all. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend. I highly recommend, like I said, I highly recommend those two products on any given day, honestly. So if you get like stuck in the rain or anything like that, you're definitely good. You're good. You're totally good. Like, no questions. But yeah, but going to Hurricane Harbor or Wet n Wild Wednesdays, you might not want. You might not want to participate. <laughs> So now it's just gonna be the, for the final phase three of is it workoutable? I'm going to be outside working out in the heat to see how long it lasts before it starts lifting or starts to shift a little bit, start jiving and stuff. So yeah, we'll get to that in the next video. Thank y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if there's any other products you want me to try out so we can have a good summer, y'all. Like, I just, I don't want no more. I can't take no more with catastrophes. I can't lift in the shift and I can't take it. I, don't, I want better for you. Please. Bye.